Let's take a look at how to model a simple compressed air energy storage system. Start with a pressure supply to represent the ambient air. Double clicking on the element opens the dialog box. In the parameter dialog, change the source pressure to atmospheric pressure, or PATM. We'll use a simple flow source to model the compressor, and we'll set the volume flow rate to 100 cubic meters per second. There are also elements for piston and turbo compressors if you'd like to make a more complex model. Because the flow source is acting as a compressor, we need to consider the enthalpy change in the fluid due to the compression work. Generally speaking, we always add volumes between any two components. The volumes represent the nodes of the lump parameter network. This is where the differential equations for the change in pressure and temperature in the fluid are calculated. Any volume elements connected together will be summed into a single control volume for the calculation. After leaving the compressor, the air travels through a large pipe to the cavern where the air will be stored. Let's make the pipe 500 meters long and a meter and a half in diameter. For this calculation, we can turn the internal dynamics of the pipe off. We'll represent the cavern using another volume element with 100,000 cubic meters capacity. Before we start the simulation, we need to turn on some result variables. To do this, Right-click on the model and select All Protocols On. In the simulation settings, we'll set the simulation length to be 8 hours. Start the simulation with the green play button. Once the simulation is finished, we'll plot the pressure and temperature in the cavern. We can see that the air temperature rises above 700 degrees Celsius, which means a lot of thermal energy will dissipate into the surrounding soil. Let's try and recover some of that thermal energy before it goes into the cavern. To do this, go back into the parameter dialog for the pipe, and on the tab Heat Transfer, change the parameter Consider Heat Transfer to True. Another selection will appear for the pipe wall temperature. Select Defined by Thermal Pin. Thermal energy can now be added to or removed from the fluid via the red thermal port. Add a heat transfer element from the Thermix library and set it to have a thermal conductance of 100 kilowatts per Kelvin. Then add a heat capacity element. You can use whatever type of heat storage material you'd like from the database, but make sure it has enough mass, for instance, 1000 tons. If you still have your results in the result window, press shift and select the snowflake button to freeze the old results. Now we can see what effect the heat storage has on the air temperature in the cavern and can experiment with different parameters. We've provided a free copy of this model on our website. In the provided model you can move the sliders during the simulation to see the effect on the system. To download this model, go to simulationx.com and log into the Customer Center. Registration is free and available to anyone interested in Simulation X. In the Customer Center, you have access to downloads of our software, this and other models, and information about the various simulation libraries. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.